Then I have nothing. We can move forward to the consent agenda. Councilman Lewis, is there anything on the consent agenda that you would like to move? Um, yeah, 20, yeah, 2018 59. Wait, I'm sorry, 58. And it's a junk dealer license. As, as long as I was uh, on council from back in the 90s until now, we do not need a junkyard in our town. And I feel it's, it's almost closed now. Um, and we were told two or three years ago that this was going to be his last time. And, he, and all of a sudden, every year, it keeps on coming up for the application for renewal. Um, I hope this is the last year. I really do. I hope this is the last year that um, we don't see this anymore. Because I, for one, I, we don't need to jump out of any kind of Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Are we pulling that one to discuss separate? We are. Okay. 2018 the junk dealer's license has been pulled. So we'll comment separately then? Yes. Yeah, my name is Ed Bullock. I live at 344 Warren Street. And I just, uh, I have a question about the Ray Craft uh, license. Uh, are, do, do they have a history of violations there? Does anybody know? Have there been, have there been public complaints about their business being there? Does anybody know if they're polluting there or <coughs> doing anything illegal there? Oh. Uh, Mr. Bullock, to be quite honest with you, um, well, the mayor states that he can answer it, but I'm going to go ahead first. Okay, sure. Okay. Um, yeah. I don't believe, I spoke with Mr. Kraft. I know that the, I guess there was some contamination from the former owner, uh, but I don't believe that it carried over into Mr. Kraft's yeah. tenure, but I haven't heard okay. any complaints. Okay, and yeah, the reason I'm asking this is my family was in the business 70 years. My dad sold thousands of tons of cast iron steel to Shamoon Industries, which is now McQueen. He sold, uh, uh, my grandfather was a partner at Easton Iron and Metal. I grew up in this environment, and I grew up hearing where people like Mr. Lutz said, and I take exception to that, okay, because I think it's very trite to say we don't need a junkyard in town. Well, of course we don't need one, but you have a, you have a legitimate business from what you're telling me that's been here for many years, okay, and if they don't have any violations, and my father was president of the United New Jersey Auto Salvage Association, by the way, and I heard many cases where there were people, where there were governing bodies who just said, we're not going to renew your license without cause that were sued and lost, okay? Mostly it's because they're dirty looking businesses or, you know, they're looked at often as second class businesses because people don't like to see them, like Mr. Look states. Um, I, I, I think to say, we don't need a junkyard here is so general that I would not like to see the rest of your council make decisions without saying, I don't think we should have this for X, Y, and Z concrete reasons. And I do take it personally because my family was in the business. Um, people in this business, they work hard. They're hardworking people. They're smart businessmen, just like many other businessmen. They send their kids to college as my parents did to me so I could come up here and have this type of communication with you. So I just hope that you're fair because I, I, I know how this works. And when I think of the situation as posed, I say to myself, it appears to me we have much worse problems that are right in view of the public okay, speaking in terms of South Main Street and other parts of the town, that would, we would much more want to have uh, be a more desirable looking situation and be a better image for the town, but, but they're, not in the, in, they're not in as public a site or setting as South Main Street is, which in my, I mean, my business is there. Many days I just say it, it looks like a trash bin, there's garbage everywhere. There are buildings that are deteriorating, and I would hope that that's your first focus. Mm -hmm. And I would hope that if the Kraft family is doing what they're supposed to be doing, according to your ordinances, that you do allow them to continue doing business, you don't take away their livelihood, and you don't take away the hardworking people who are laborers in the junk business, okay? They're, they're hardworking laborers, laborers, that it's just not a fancy, full, denigrating thought that we don't need a junkyard in town. Thanks. Mr. Block, 
Uh, thank you for your comment. Mr. Councilman Lutz, did you want to wait till overtime, uh, open time? No, I'd like to answer it now. Mr. Bullock, I'm glad you, you said some stuff because, number one, your family owned a, a junkyard in Harmony Township. Is that correct? They, their first one was in Phillipsburg. And, and that, that brings me up to a point that I missed. If you're going to redevelop there, fine. Where my father and grandfather's first business was, my, actually it was my grandfather taken over by my father and uncle, was where the Green Street School is. And the town decided they wanted to build a school and by eminent domain said, you have to move, we're taking the property. I'm perfectly fine with that if you're going to do that in that location or any location where it's, you know, that type of situation. But it was in Phillipsburg. And then when the town bought that property and built the Green Street School, they moved to Harmony. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, there was encroachment there also. Now, my father and uncle sold um, when they decided they wanted to retire, but they often dealt with the same thing. My grandfather did, my, my, my dad and my uncle did, and, uh, you know, they, they went to court. They dealt with council going back to the 40s for the same situations and got their licenses renewed but had to fight for it, and it was basically because... And you have to remember, Phillipsburg back in the 30s, there was not the development there is now. So when my grandfather started that business, he could do that. But then as people wanted to live around it, and I completely understand that when you're going to build new homes and, you're gonna, and the town is going to grow, you don't want to be building it around the salvage yard. No problem with that whatsoever. What I'm talking about is that you're fair to them, that you're fair. But it was in Phillipsburg. Right. Now, the other question that I have... I know you don't live down on South Main Street or Mercer Street or mm -hmm. in that area. You should come down on a Sunday morning when the when the uh, when the equipment is running and it's supposed to be nice and quiet on a Sunday morning. By ordinance, is it supposed to be nice and quiet? No. No. Okay. Not really cool. I understand completely what you're saying. I I I I I know that it has to be an inconvenience, but I can't give you a better answer than. That's why I said what I said. You have ordinances. If they're following the ordinances, and I know that that makes head, heads butt, but... Yeah, but we were told a couple of years ago that the Raycrafts were, were moving. Right now, they hardly have anything in that lot. The only thing that they're storing is Atlantic State's fight for recycling. Okay. That's the only thing they're doing right now. Um, but years ago, um, it was terrible down there. It didn't matter at 9, 10 o'clock at night that they'd be clanging mm -hmm. and clinging and doing everything. Um, well, they're supposed to have operation, hours of operations according to your ordinance. Because right. I know my father and uncle had to right. abide by, by those by. hours. Right. They didn't know why. Because many of times people came to my house and complained about it. I heard the um, same thing about um, McQueen from people who live on Sigrave yeah. Street. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But now, now, like I said, it's done. But a couple of years ago, we were told, and Rick says, well, the attorney says, well, they have already paid their fee. Mm -hmm. So you have to accept it. So that's what we did for the past couple of years. But now it's getting to the point where I thought there was going to be, re we were promised redevelopment was going to break, what, 10 years ago or whatever? It was going to break, and they didn't want them in there. They were That's all fine. Road, they were going to make a road down mm -hmm. on Center Street, right through yep. the property. Yep. Okay. I, I, I'm fine happened. with that. Yep, I understand completely that. Yeah. Where is the redevelopment that was supposed to start 10 years ago? Do you have something in place? Is there something in writing? Is, is there documentation about it? If there's not... Yeah, it's is, a dead issue. It's a dead issue. Yes, there is stuff in writing. Okay, it's in writing to do what? To build houses back. To build right houses. There. And who is going to do that? Bruce. Okay, then why isn't it not going forward? You're I, I don't have any I'm not involved in those issues. Yeah. Why is it why is it not going forward? If it's going forward, then there should be then there's other discussion about this that's not going on now. Yep. Excellent. Gentlemen, I would just say that because it's not a debate, if after the meeting you wish to speak, I would go ahead and do that then. Thank you. You're welcome.